13 Action News, elevating Las Vegas, live at 11. Tonight, the roadmap to recovery. The governor indicating that he is ready to reveal his plan for reopening. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. The announcement comes as the governor's stay at home order is set to expire Thursday. And as 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels has more on what we know so far. It's been 39 days since the strip shut down. Non-essential Nevada businesses were ordered to close back on March 20th. Now, the governor announcing a major change is coming. Writing on Twitter, quote, I will have big announcements for Nevadans as we finalize our Nevada United Roadmap to Recovery. Once we begin phase one, we will be able to loosen restrictions on certain activities and businesses. And the loosening of these restric restrictions will be done in accordance with federal guidance that's tailored to Nevada specific industries, businesses and communities. At his most recent news conference exactly one week ago, Governor Steve Sisolak says the reopening of Nevada's businesses and economy will happen in one of four phases. Nevada will also continue coordination with some of our fellow western states. We're in close conversations now to share challenges, solutions and best practices and I look forward to strengthening that partnership in the very near future. The governor tweeting Nevada has joined our neighbors, California, Oregon and Washington in a western states pact for reopening. Also, certain necessary medical and dental procedures will resume, but additional protocols and cleaning procedures will be added. The governor says more announcements should be expected leading up to Thursday's presentation. Because it's going to rely on data and this is a virus. There's going to have some real-time decision-making if we see a spike in cases, and I update Nevadans along the way as we monitor our progress. And that was Joe Bartels reporting. The governor has not made any dates or timelines for reopening. He has pointed out that the stay-at-home order and social distancing were the reasons for the announcements he's set to make this week. And the governor also tweeted out tonight he will be on Good Morning America tomorrow morning to discuss his plan.